You wanna work with me? <laughs> really? <laughs> Yo, I can't stress this enough. There's a lot. and welcome back to my youtube channel it's a very new day thank you so much for clicking on my video if it's your first time hopping on this channel and seeing this beautiful face i hope that you subscribe become part of my family please do like comment and share okay <laughs> i'm gonna give you guys two seconds to like because i know you're gonna enjoy this video thank you <laughs> okay so in today's video we're gonna be discussing we're doing a sit down video i haven't done this in a while actually yeah, I think um, I just decided, you know, let me just do this video because I'm not even going to lie and say a lot of people asked me because I think like maybe four people and to me, that's a, like, that's a lot. I'm like, oh my gosh, so people are asking me for like such kind of information. I just decided, let me just share with the girlies. There could be someone else out there who might find this useful and they've been meaning to, you know, just get more insight of how this whole working with brands works so we're gonna get into it okay let's get into it i just wrote down a few points in my book so if i'm gonna be looking down please so we're gonna be talking about working with brands as a small creator i can't say influencer because i don't think i'm an influencer as yet as a small creator because i do i really do um regard myself as a small creator i only have over a thousand subscribers and like 3,000 followers on Instagram. Let's not even talk about TikTok child because I'm really trying to, <laughs> I'm really trying to, you know, uh, boost my audience on TikTok. So please do follow me on all my social media platforms. I am a Rumi D. Instagram is Rumi underscore D. TikTok it's Rumi D. So I'm Rumi D on all my social media platforms. Okay, let me just get into like some background. So working with brands, when I, I think I got a brand collaboration, my first brand collaboration when I was like on 800 subscribers. That was like early this year. I was so amazed, like, what, you guys wanna work with me? I wasn't even there as yet. So when I, when I started, right, when I was doing, when I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't even thinking that one day I would work with brands. So when I got my first email, I was like, you wanna work with me? really <laughs> i was so so excited it's so so exciting guys like getting that first email and if the brand wants to pay as well that's like wow so i got my first email at around 800 subscribers so it depends on i don't know it just depends some people even get it earlier or get it later so we're gonna st talk about the first point so you have to have your email in your bio on your instagram also in your description here on youtube like how are people going to contact you if they don't have your email like it just makes sense to have your email so always make sure that your email is in your bio or your description so it's much easier for them to get a hold of you number two is be aware of scammers guys yo i can't stress this enough there's a lot of scammers out here i have received quite a number of emails from Shein. It was a scam guys so when i got the email i was so excited replied to them like quick quick without even checking the emails oh i replied to the email and then they were like oh we're so glad you want to work with us and then they're like oh this is our website just go on our website and choose a few items blah blah blah, blah. so how i noticed they were a scam was they were like uh because it's our first collaboration you're gonna have to pay 50 percent of the order i'm like girl bye so i never responded and guess what two days later they're like ah oh, please let us know if you're not interested i'm like oh, you can't force me like don't please okay what's happening with my ring light anyway now don't die on me some of them will come to you and be like oh i want to work with you then they'll be like but you have to pay for your customs no guys uh, -uh no if a brand Excuse the lighting guys i'm just fighting with my ring lights here oh let me just remove it if a brand really wants to work with you you can never pay for anything don't pay for anything because you might just pay now and never hear from them ever again 
okay so the next thing is yeah if it sounds too good to be true it probably is because on that sheen email i'm just using that as a reference so please guys don't come for me i'm just using that as reference on their email they were like um so we're gonna give you i um we're gonna give you clothes monthly and we'll also pay you a thousand dollars guys do you know how much a thousand dollars is a thousand dollars is like i don't know fifteen thousand or even more like how can you just seriously how can you oh. 15,000 for every post. They were like, we're gonna give you a thousand dollars for every post <sighs> So if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is don't be scammed I know it's exciting, but don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't you don't want to be crying Two weeks later when you don't hear from them ever again <sighs> Okay, so the next item is um, start to do, Yes I don't know if this is gonna make sense because my English kinda <laughs> so start to do the type of content that you like how can I say if you want to work with fashion brands start doing fashion content if you want to work with hair brands start to do hair content if you want to work with makeup brands start to do makeup content so that they will see like oh this girl likes this and that so she start doing that type of content so that you can attract them so how i was at, like how fashion brands started approaching me is because i think mainly it's because of my instagram because i started doing fashion reels like in january or something like that yeah so most of them will be like we want a youtube video and instagram post so i figured it's from my instagram reels i think and also in youtube i do post like fashion hauls here and then but i haven't done one in quite some time so start doing the content like if you want to work with i don't know with um home uh home brands start doing like you know home content if that makes sense so yeah yeah start doing that type of content um, don't be afraid to approach brands guys as much as it's like you're literally like begging like please work with me please work with me but when you're still small don't be afraid to approach them send them send them an email some you have to send a dm because some don't even like it's hard to get their emails like on their website so send them emails guys approach them but let me just be real with you on the emails i have sent like I think up to 100 emails and only like 20% of those emails that I sent got a response and some do respond and say oh, unfortunately we can't work with you now maybe at a later stage and some are interested but don't be afraid you might just get you know you might just get something so start sending those emails approach them sell yourself to the brands really draft those emails and send them emails they may just be looking for someone like you okay <laughs> the next item is um as much as brands will approach you some you have to turn down like i've gotten to a point where i'm like no nah, i can't do this or they ask you for too much either they don't want to pay or their budget is too low like nah some you have to turn down some they ask you for like things that are out of this world but they don't want to pay so yeah some you have to turn down that's just the reality of it and most of these chinese brands guys they are very manipulative you they want to use small um small creators for their benefits so you have to be aware of that which takes me to my next uh, point some of them did it they don't want to pay like most of them they don't want to pay for as long as you're still small they don't want to pay at all they will tell you either we don't have a budget for it or um uh we'll provide you we are providing you with quality products this and that just they will just make up excuses so that they don't pay so 
that's the sad reality most of them they don't want to pay for as long as you are still small so for me i still do take some free work because i'm like okay fine i'm trying to build my portfolio i'm also like getting things as much as it takes most of my time like editing filming and all of that it's also something that i'm i know i'm working towards a goal so i'm still i'm still taking free work it's called a trade exchange but like you can't ask me to do a trade exchange and then you expect me to do four reels um two pictures in a youtube video or in like in a space of two weeks like it doesn't make sense you know like it really really doesn't make sense so yeah some of them they don't want to pay at all at all it's always i feel like this like working with brands is always really really like beneficial when you're like up there now when you're like those top dogs but you do get brands really that appreciate every creator they will pay you they will even ask you for your red card, pay you exactly as you requested and shout out to those brands really, shout out to them. So we almost, we almost done. <laughs> the next item is, um, it gets dry guys. It gets really, really dry. I remember in March, April, May, I was really like getting deliveries after deliveries after deliveries. And then June, July, it was quiet. It gets really really dry and I wouldn't say it's like I can say it's not sustainable when you're still that like really really small because it gets dry like there's no emails coming through nobody's responding to your email so it really 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 gets dry but you shouldn't lose hope just continue doing your content try to get um, better quality i know it might not be possible but better quality the lighting should be perfect should be crisp so that these brands you know brands like at this point they really want your like good quality uh, they want you know those those details that make you unique so yeah so it really does get dry sometimes but we just keep pushing so i am i am not really i'm also still trying to get more knowledge on working with brands but so far this is these are the things that i like found out or figured out on my own i hope this really really like helps you guys on knowing more about these brands um yeah don't get scammed guys please don't get scammed it's not cute it's not nice approach the brands um it's nice getting those emails it's nice knowing that you have a package coming through it's really really nice but you just have to be careful and yeah i hope um i was making sense in this video <laughs> but yeah this is i think that'll be all um please do give this video a thumbs up and if you guys have any more questions please do leave them down below i will gladly um answer or respond if i can and also if you guys if you're a fellow creator and there's more tips that you can offer please please comment down below um yeah thank you guys so much uh really really appreciate you for watching my video <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys on my next one bye